Patients who choose to go to their GP or local hospital to treat minor illnesses are costing the NHS over a billion pounds a year, according to a new report. The study from the Royal Pharmaceutical Society says pressure on doctors and A&E staff could be alleviated if community pharmacies in England were to treat common conditions like a cough or a cold. It's already something that's being done in Scotland, as our correspondent Laura Bicker reports. Ray Johns isn't sure whether he needs to see a doctor. Good morning. Sir. So Not he's bad, checking thanks. with his local Yourself. pharmacy okay, first. Uh, can I have a consultation with the pharmacist, please? Yep. He has a minor complaint. Uh, what's the main problem that you have? Well, I, I've had this, it is the problem over the years. One easily treated with advice and a prescription from the pharmacist. This consultation service is common in Scotland but not in England. Some believe it's time that changed so that common health problems are dealt with in the community pharmacy. Well, there's about 20 uh, different conditions uh, which are like coughs, colds, sore throats, constipation, diarrhea, there are quite a few of them. So uh, they're by definition minor in, in nature. So these are ideal for pharmacists who have got the expertise to help patients. A study by the Royal Pharmaceutical Society suggests services such as this one could reduce the number of visits to e, &E by 650,000. They also say that it could reduce the number of GP consultations by 18 million, thereby saving the NHS £1 billion. GPs, pharmacists and emergency doctors are now calling for urgent action. They say a minor ailment service rolled out across the UK would ease the pressure on an overburdened NHS. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Paisley. Well, with me now is Deborah Evans from the Royal Pharmaceutical Society. Deb, thanks, for, thanks very much for coming in. So the, the point about this is mainly coughs and colds. I mean, that is a kind of major part of a GP's time, really, isn't it? There's lots of different conditions that we can help relieve pressures in the system around and it's not just coughs and colds, of course there's winter ailments like sore throats, particularly relevant at the moment, but anything from hay fever, acne, um, sort of eczema, a whole range of conditions, athlete's foot thrush, um, we deal with a lot of things. Won't that just be relieving the pressure on GPs but adding pressure onto pharmacists? I think with a, an overburdened NHS, we've got to look at the most effective way of using the resources across the system. We're all incredibly busy, whichever part of the system we work in. But it's also about patients and the public having access to services when they need it to get re reassurance, advice, treatment if they need it. And for many, that's convenient in their pharmacy. But many people, when, they talk, when you talk about people having access to services when they need it, they feel they want to go and sit down with their GP rather than wait in line at a quite a public environment in a pharmacy? Well, there's a, a few things about that. Um, most pharmacies and over 95% of pharmacies have a private consultation area, so I'd urge members of the public, if they want to talk privately, to, to ask the pharmacist to use the consultation room. And many pharmacists and pharmacy team uh, staff will um, make it available to members of the public. So that's, you know, that's something that's open to many. But, uh, are you, I'm wondering if you know the, the idea is that you know we have to make hard choices with the NHS. Mm -hmm. But are you just kind of shifting the burden to another place? I mean, is, it, would it not be better to try and tell people that look, there's no drugs we can give you for a cold anyway, so you know, don't come. Well, the whole point of having a common ailments service available through every pharmacy in the country that the NHS supports and funds is its more cost-effective way of using resources. So we know from this research that using a pharmacist for your advice and treatment costs a third of that in GPs and a fifth of that in A&E. So it makes sense from an NHS that's already strapped for, for cash. Uh, do you think that, you know, later on, you know, if, if this were to sort of be taken up, that later on you'd see pharmacies doing more and more treatment, more and more diagnosis of other things as well? There's so much that we can do and do do. So many pharmacies, for example, are commissioned to do flu vaccination services uh, within the NHS. Uh, we advise people about their medicines. Over 1.6 million people come into a pharmacy every single day. That's more than any part of the health service. And there's so much more we can do around chronic conditions, around minor ailments and public health services. And, and we already do a lot in that area. Okay, Deborah Evans from the Royal Pharmaceutical Society, thank you very much for thank coming you. in.